Following up on the successful implementation at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, video assistant referees are now a staple of other FIFA tournaments, including the FIFA Women's World Cup in France. The guideline, minimum interference for maximum benefit. The VAR team is located in a centralised video operation room. The team consists of a video assistant referee, VAR, an assistant VAR, and in some cases, a second assistant VAR, responsible exclusively for offside decisions. Replay operators are responsible for selecting and sourcing the most relevant angles from all the available broadcast cameras. Viewers may not see it, but inside the video operation room, incidents are being checked all the time. The VAR team spends the whole match watching multiple screens in real time and inspecting every action that may be considered reviewable. On the pitch, referees can delay the restart of the game at any time to communicate with the VAR team. They signal this by pointing to their ear and holding up a hand, indicating that play is stopped. If the referee decides that an incident is reviewable, he or she will initiate an official review, indicated by the signal of drawing the rectangular outline of a TV screen. The referee will then make the decision, either based on the information received from the VAR team, which is the case for situations of fact, for example whether a foul was committed inside or outside the penalty area, or personally reviewing the incident at the referee review area, which is the case for situations that are subject to interpretation. Either way, the final decision is always with the referee. Checking all the camera angles in order to ensure that the right decision is taken is a process that may take a bit of time. However, any delays in restarting the game are included in the additional time at half-time and at the end of the match. The VAR team can support the referee in four match-changing situations. Goals, penalties, red cards and cases of mistaken identity. The VAR team is constantly checking potential mistakes related to these four scenarios. After a goal, the video assistant referee checks any possible infringements during the attacking phase of play that led up to it. This example shows that the goal was scored from a clear offside position from the attacking team. Correctly, the goal has not been awarded. This example shows a goal that was initially disallowed, but correctly awarded after a review. This is an example of why assistant referees are instructed to delay their offside flags until the play is finished, or the goal-scoring possibility is no longer imminent. This allows time for the VAR to review all goals in which an offside may have occurred. The VAR checks all penalties and potential penalties to answer two simple questions. First, is it a foul or not? And second, if a foul was committed, was it inside or outside the penalty area? In this case, the VAR informed the referee that the foul was committed inside the penalty area and a penalty was then correctly awarded. VAR is responsible for checking the situations of encroachment when a penalty kick is taken. In this example, the VAR supports the referee in ensuring that the goalkeeper keeps at least part of one foot on the goal line or in line with it the moment the shot is taken. In this case, the goalkeeper keeps one foot on the line and no intervention is required. The VAR checks all direct red cards and potential red cards. In this example, the referee clearly misses a situation that should be punished with a red card. The VAR intervenes and the referee delays the game until he has received the recommendation from the VAR to perform an on-field review. The referee then correctly decides to send off the player. The VAR also checks all potential situations of mistaken identity. Here, the referee correctly awards a penalty, but accidentally cautions the wrong player for having committed the foul. The VAR identifies the right player and intervenes. After communication between the referee and the VAR, the referee shows the yellow card to the right player. The previous wrong yellow card is cancelled. Ultimately, referees are, and will always be, the ones in charge of a football match. They are the ones responsible for making the final decisions. The VAR team is there to support the referees in accomplishing their goal, to make football as fair and transparent as possible.